just take over if, if that's okay with you. Um, yeah. My name is Sarah Fuchs, as I was already introduced to you. Um, I am the application and admission coordinator at the University of Applied Sciences Würzburg Schweinfurt, which is a, quite a long name. So the shortcut of our university cut of our university is FHWS. So that might be a little uh, better for all of us to talk about the university. Um, yes, I'm very happy to see or have all of uh, this interesting people in this meeting today. So I will give you some information and we'll try not to go too deep into the details. Uh, and afterwards, you can just uh, ask your questions and we will answer them. Uh, so let me start my presentation with you. You can see my screen. So, okay. Um, as I told you, I am the application admission coordinator at our university, um, which is, as you can see here, the shortcut FHWS. Um, so our university um, is a university which has two locations. So we are in Würzburg and in Schweinfurt, which are two cities in Germany. Um, we are offering uh, study programs in total 42, uh, and we have English bachelor programs as well. Uh, so we have a lot of international students at our universities. In total, it's 15%, but uh, because of the two locations and we are offering uh, the um, English programs at the location of Schweinfurt. The location Schweinfurt has the percentage of 46 international uh, percent of international students. So there are a lot of international students at that um, location. Okay, so as you can see here at this slide, we have a lot of international students from all over the world. In total, it's more than 100 countries our students are coming from. And as you can see on this slide, uh, there are a lot of uh, students from India, but we have also all world regions uh, where our students are from. Uh, as Balaji already uh, introduced, we have different types of universities in Germany. Uh, so there are the universities, the University of Applied Sciences, and there's also private and like art universities. Um, but the difference between a university and the University of Applied Science um, is that the universities have more of a theoretical approach and the universities of applied sciences do have a uh, um, yeah, more a practical approach. And that's why the studies are a little longer, like one semester longer than at the universities. So we are um, offering programs at our university for seven semesters, which is 3.5 years because there is an internship included in the studies. So this is requested at our university. Um, the, tech, the practical approach is already shown by our um, different labs and uh, yeah, seminars and classes, which are also included in the studies. So you have this practical approach. Um, the two locations of our university, um, there are Würzburg and Schweinfurt. And just to let you know, very few information so you know where you would go. Um, both of our cities are in the very south of Germany. So we have the we have different states and it's the very southern state is Bavaria. And in the north of this state, our universities are is located. So uh, you have Würzburg, which is a very cultural city uh, with an UNESCO World Heritage, um, with a nice river, which all the students really enjoy to live at. Uh, so this is the first location. And the second location is Schweinfurt, which is a little smaller city than Würzburg. Book, but Schweinfurt has a very big um, automotive and robotic industry located around of Schweinfurt. So this makes Schweinfurt the city with the highest job density in uh, Germany. In general, we already have a very high job density. As Balaji already said, um, we are um, in need of skilled and young uh, people who are working um, in the German country because we do not have enough uh, people here who are young and skilled. <laughs> um, so that's why we are very uh, focused, all universities in German, on international students right now. Um, to go on, so just let uh, you see where this, um, our university is located and both cities. So it's a half an hour apart from each other. So it's not very far. Um, so there's the train and buses going uh, from one city to the other. Um, our 
university is split with faculties. So some faculties are uh, located in Würzburg and some are located in Schweinfurt. Um, in Schweinfurt, there are mostly the engineering faculties and also the applied natural sciences and humanities. Um, so to give you a very short insight into our study programs, uh, we are offering a lot of bachelor programs, also master, but I'm not naming them today because that will be the next step for you. Um, all programs uh, are in German, some are also in English, so we are offering five uh, English bachelor programs. Here you can see the STEM section of the bachelor programs, and there's also some other programs, um, but we have a lot of technical uh, study programs which we are offering. We are offering five English programs, as I just said. Um, the twin next to it uh, means that we have a special approach to this. So our university is offering um, those English courses and also the German twin to it. So they are both uh, they're the same um, programs, but they are offered in different languages. Um, so that's why the name twin is existing there. Um, the twin program means that you can start, for example, in your case, you could start in an English program, for example, in robotics, and then you would start and in during your studies, you would achieve the level of German B2. And as soon as you do so, you could uh, also take German classes. So all your classes and seminars you have, you can also take those in German. You can achieve credit points in German as well. And at your at the end of your studies, you would finish and graduate with a TRIN certificate, which uh, would show that you did your studies in German and English, and you're able to to work and study in both uh, languages. And also you would have intercultural training with it because uh, the cultures from Germany and India all around the world, they're sometimes a little different. So it's very good to have this intercultural training as well. Uh, if you're looking forward to work in international countries, Germany or wherever. Um, we are also offering international career service because of course we are not always or just only interested that you're coming to our university. We want you to find jobs after you studied at our university. So we are offering workshops, application process workshops as well. So we are helping you with all this like counseling. Um, you'll get the intercultural trainings and also like CV workshops and stuff like that. So how to apply in Germany and to German um, companies. Um, we also have corporations, of course, uh, one of our cooperation, but uh, for the admission and application is with ISB, but we have a lot of corporations with um, companies all around in Germany and, of course, in Schweinfurt and Würzburg. Uh, so you would have there as well the, um, the opportunity to do application trainings or um, do a trip there and meet people and network with those companies already. Uh, we have a lot of corporations, as you see in this slide. So these are uh, the companies we are working with in current day basis. Yes. Um, so this is the team of our university's international office. So I'm the part of uh, this. And as you can see here, they're very interested in guiding our international students through the whole process because um, we know that there's a lot of bureaucracy in Germany and you would need guidance and help during your studies from starting the application process, um, starting your studies, choosing your seminars and lectures. And for example, you could also do an exchange program while being at our university, international career service. We are all guiding you through this process so you would have a good uh, start and also end of your studies um, at our university. So in total, uh, we have a very international focus at our university. Um, that's why we are also offering English bachelor programs, which are a little rare right now in Germany at German universities. Um, so this international focus means that we have a big uh, group and support group of people who are guiding all our international students. We have a lot of tutors also helping. Uh, we are offering international career service, of course, exchange programs and everything our degree seekers are in need of. Um, this is why uh, the project, which is called iCampus, which we started 2014, this includes uh, the twin bachelors and all this uh, 
guidance and support for the international degree seekers. Um, we got uh, a best strategy award for this. And uh, we are also including in this, pro, uh, in this project uh, a new campus. So, so in Schweinfurt, there's the whole international campus, which is, which is built right now. Um, this is also included into this uh, project. So in a shortcut for you, the application and admission, we have a cooperation with the ISB, which means um, that you would get a conditional letter from our university after deciding which, that you want to go to our university uh, during the preparatory program at ISB. Um, after you are graduating from the ISB, you have to apply to our university again, um, also upload all your documents and the conditional letter. Um, this is possible in these application periods. And there's also a summer semester, but in the summer semester, there's only starting German programs. We are uh, requiring uh, language requirements, of course. Um, so, so for the English programs, uh, we would require an English B2 level. Most of you would already prove this by proving the medium of instruction during their school because we also is accept this if you can prove your medium of instruction in English during your school, uh, which you graduated. Um, for the programs in English, we also require a German A2 level, but you can prove this until the end of your second semester at our university. So we are offering language courses so you can achieve this language level. Um, yes. And this is what you can see as well. So we are offering these language courses. And if you are uh, trying to have a high level of German, we are also offering three language courses in the C2 section. But of course, in the first, um, in the first levels, we would um, charge the courses. Um, some programs are also required to have a pre-study internship if you apply for them. But as well as with the German A2 level, you are allowed to prove those pre-study internships until the end of your second semester. So which means during the first year of your studies, you would have to prove this pre-study internship. Um, yeah, so uh, there are a lot of support uh, <laughs> groups at our university, as I told you. So there's the applicant uh, support, which I am the coordinator of, and of course the student support. So there's an international student support at our university, which is coordinated by my colleague, Eileen Shaban. And uh, these are the email addresses to us. So if you have any questions following today, um, how to apply at our universities, which programs we are offering, of course, you can write an email to the iCampus at FHWS.de because the welcome at FHWS is only for admitted uh, students. So I hope that I'll see you soon um, after your step at the ISB. And if you have any further questions, you can write to me or also to the iCampus at FHWS. I'll write this in the chat as well. Um, if you have any further questions, you can just go on and ask them. And I would hand back to Balaji. Thank you very much, Sarah. It was very informative. So I think uh, students would be very excited to, you know, go to ISB and, you know, study in uh, Schweinfurt. Uh, so, uh, so everyone, thank you so much for being very patient until now. So now we would like to, you know, uh, take any of the questions. So uh, you can uh, probably unmute yourself and ask your questions. Or if you're not comfortable, you know, talking, you can also drop your questions in the chat box and we would, you know, like to go one by one and answer it. Okay, Balaji, hi. This is Hassan from Egypt. Yes, hi, Hassan. Uh, how's everything? Uh, actually, I have several questions, okay, if you don't mind, <laughs> okay? Some for you and some for Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Oh, she, she's muted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll start for, for, for Sarah, of course, because Liz first. Uh, you didn't mention how much will it cost their... Uh, uh, bachelor degree in English as well as in German language. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, sorry, yes, um, I thought maybe because of Balaji's uh, information, it was enough. Um, it is very true that uh, education is free in Germany. Uh, so there are no tuition fees for all of our programs. Uh, there, we are only offering two um, MBA programs, which would have a charge. But for you, all the bachelors are free of um, tuition fees. The only thing in Germany which you have to pay is like an, um, yeah, a semester fee, which is only at our university in Schweinfurt. It's 97 euro for one semester, which is more like a processing fee. Uh, so it's 97 euros for six uh, month, which is only a processing fee, um, and also already included into this 97 euros, there is the ticket to the public transport in the city you are studying. So there are no additional costs. Um, otherwise, all just the cost of your living, of course. Uh, so it's rent uh, and food. But usually students in Germany, uh, they need around 800, 600 to 800 euros uh, a semester um, a, a month because uh, for the living and for the free time activities and stuff like that. Uh, so maybe that's a question as well, how much you would need. Depends, of course, on the living situation you are uh, preparing. I do, <laughs> so I do. some are, would yeah, like yeah, to yeah. share I, I do invite you that. because you just you read my mind. You read my, um, my question before. <laughs> 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 okay, one, one, one more question for you, and it's finished now, okay, uh, for, for you, and then back to Bilaj. Um, the last one is uh, for the uh, German uh, bachelor degree, sorry, for, for the English 